I'm Cindy Targosh, and I'd like to share my Cindy secrets. Shh. Up next is Kane Raymond from No Kitchen Required. What a thrill to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. How are you? Great. Well, before we go in with what you're doing tonight, tell us about the show and what's the latest with that. So, um, I mean, we ran the first season. We shot it last year. We, we shot um, 10 episodes worldwide. It was a really great experience. We got to go into indigenous cultures and, and meet and cook uh, indigenous food and hunt and do all these things. A lot of things I'd never done before. So it was it was incredibly fun. Um, we had a great time. I met a lot of great connections. And now we're sort of moving on and waiting for the second season to come about and, and working on some side projects. So, Did you ever yeah. get afraid like when you were out there? Uh, not necessarily afraid, I mean, but I had so so many spikes in adrenaline that I was, I mean, I was almost crying at some stages. I was exhausted, physically exhausted, mentally exhausted. It was really challenging. So, I mean, I don't watch a lot of cooking shows, but you know, I really got behind the show. It was it was a true to heart show. I mean, we really went out there and we we cooked from the heart. It wasn't a manipulated TV show, and we went out there, and we, we just were ourselves, and we well, met these well, people. Well, listen, not to interrupt you, but for those who haven't seen the show, tell them a little bit about what the premise is. All right, so basically we're dropped into an indigenous culture, and uh, we learn the cultures, we learn the customs of the native people, and then we have to go out and hunt and kill and forage the same way the traditional local people would. They cook us their food. We go out and try and recreate a meal and take our own culinary skills and cook them a meal to represent and respect them and their culture. So, well, now, is that what you did for tonight? Um, a, li <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an indigenous person myself. I have a lot of Samoan you know, heritage and French Polynesian. So, I mean, I, I cook from the heart and I love indigenous cultures and travel. So, the dish really is, is, is you know, it's a, a, a dish my grandmother used to make for me who was Samoan. So, well, tell us, tell us about the dish. So it's a, it's a Polynesian style ceviche, so we have uh, lemon juice, coconut milk, it has uh, cilantro, tomato concash, just the skins, it's really beautiful, very mild, it's not as uh, strong as like a regular ceviche with lime juice, but it's It looks delicious. wonderful, did you get a close up of that? Okay. Yeah, and then I, this is the pav, the pavlova, I mean that's, that's a traditional New Zealand dish. It's a, it's a meringue, basically we've got passion fruit, mm -hmm. fresh cream, mint, very simple but delicious, yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. What about, let's let's talk a little more. Just, eat too. Oh, I know. That's a good yeah, part. Yeah, um, when you're not being a chef, do you have any hobbies or a favorite pastime? Oh, my God. I have so many hobbies. I just got back from El Salvador for a surf trip. I was surfing there for uh, uh, seven days, so I love surfing. I do a little bit of rock climbing. I'm a, I'm a father and a, a husband, so, I mean, I'm busy with How many children do you have? Just the one. Little yeah. boy, little girl? A little girl, yeah, Miela. So she's... Um, She's an angel. She's a precious little girl. So yeah, I mean, I've, I've got two great girls. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm 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 really busy. So excellent. Yeah. You, you certainly live an active lifestyle. I, I like that. I do indeed. I mean, you got to stay active. I mean, my daughter runs circles around me. So if I can't stay active, then I mean, she's going to leave me behind. Oh, thank you cool. so much. Firstly, I love my Cindy secrets. I'm Kane Raymond from No Kitchen Required, BBC America from New Zealand. Represent. Woo! Thank you. <laughs>